hear all the time about the unemployment rate, but another measure, one we don't hear as much about, is even more important to understanding the health of the labor market. Today, we discuss all this and more. Welcome back to Economics Made Simple. The labor force participation rate might be the most important employment number you've never heard of. Fortunately, we have Clint Dahl to explain what it is and why it's important. Clint, does the unemployment rate accurately measure the health of the economy? That's a great question. The unemployment rate measures the percentage of the labor force that doesn't have a job. If the unemployment rate is 4%, 4% of the labor force is without a job. The labor force includes anyone over the age of 16 who is working or is actively looking for a job. It does not include students, retirees, homemakers, active duty military, or those people who are in prisons and institutions. There's another group the labor force does not include, those who have given up on looking for work. It's those people who make the labor force participation rate such a revealing economic measure. So what is the labor force participation rate exactly? It's the percentage of the total U.S. population that the U.S. labor force represents. For example, if the labor force participation rate is 65%, it means 65% of Americans of working age either have a job or are actively looking for one. When experts examine the health of the economy, they sometimes consider the labor force participation rate more than the unemployment rate because it includes those who have given up on looking for work. Let's say the unemployment rate is low and the labor force participation rate is high. This suggests a strong job market because a lot of people want to work and there's a job for nearly all of them. Now, let's say, for example, the unemployment rate is low, but the labor force participation rate is also low. This suggests that the labor market may not in fact be that strong as many people have given up on looking for work. If a significant number of Americans have given up on looking for work, it could indicate that there's something wrong with the underlying economic engine. It could mean, for example, that there's just a lack of quality jobs out there. The unemployment rate is an important economic indicator. However, if you want to capture the true picture of the job market, you need to include things like the labor force participation rate. Thank you, Clint, for helping us to understand this little known but important economic measure. It's been my pleasure. There's a lot to understanding the economic health of the economy. So if you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check back often for more economics made simple. Joe Montana here. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.